Yo, hey everyone, welcome back to another first impressions on another of the new anime of summer 2016 season. Yes, as you can see by the title below, this is my first impressions on Tales of Zestaria the X. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Hopefully I'm not wrong. If I am, then sorry for that. Um, but one thing I got to say about this first off is that I honestly have never played a Tales game before. I've seen them. You know, I've, a couple of my friends have told me they've played them and they enjoyed them. So I've always, you know, kind of wanted to get them. But I just haven't really gotten to, you know, going and buy the game and playing it. Um, first off, I got to say one thing also is that since I didn't play any of the Tales games before, I was kind of, when I was looking at Annie Char and looking at this, I was like, hmm, I was about to pass over it. Then I saw the studio that was going to make it you foldable and yes right from there i instantly just like i was like i'm gonna give this a try hopefully it's something that you know doesn't need another you know like i have to play the games or something from what i've heard um all the tales games have a different story so it doesn't it's not like this is connecting to another one so luckily for that I was still able to watch this though one of the big problems that I've had with this episode considering this is a prologue zero it's not really episode one it's prologue zero it says at the end zero zero the thing about it is I didn't understand a single thing that was going on I have to admit that when I was watching this we get thrown into this new world different characters I don't even know three of them four of them actually die and we're just left with the princess, which honestly, I was like, oh, okay, the tornado or mist thing destroys everyone. And that was the ending. That part definitely got me a little like, uh, as a first an episode, you know, it, it interested me in the fact, not just because the name, of course, but you, you foldable, but the, oh my gosh, how beautiful this anime looks don't even lie like i already seen like you know stuff obviously e foldable is an amazing company they made unlimited blade works which was completely beautiful and stunning god eater as well which was another anime that i loved and i loved the look of it and this one did not disappoint i loved the animation style i loved the art style oh my gosh when they were looking at the city it was so beautiful the water yes i said the water looked dang just like i was like wow that looks just plain beautiful and literally that holds the whole episode there's so many things the fluid motions everything from like the characters movements the characters themselves the background the action kind of part the action guys the action unlimited blade works one of my favorite you know animes and of course by ufo Tabo as well when they had the action scenes in that it was pure awesome. This one, the part with the princess versus the thieves, did not disappoint. That was so awesome, so well done. And honestly, that's one of the things that I'm looking so forward to in the future for the other, um, you know, the next episode to see if that action, all that action kind of stuff, stays with it. Because, you know, Unlimited Blade Works, um, there was some crazy action at the beginning. And even though um, it was still awesome, guys. Along the way, the actions weren't as good until the very, like, going towards more the end kind of thing and stuff. But it was still awesome. Hopefully, this just goes, like, awesome all the time when the action does occur and stuff. But I'm really excited for this. I have never played a Tales game, so I'm not too sure how the story will be. But people have, you know, I've seen, my friends have told me, and I've seen other people say that Tales games are really good. So I'm looking forward to a good story thinking that maybe this first episode was more of a kind of thing just to show you the world of what's going on the big premise of obviously this mist thing and a dragon coming out of nowhere coming out and killing everyone and showing the craziness of the action and how beautiful the world is and everything the animation and the art style so that part it did drag me in okay i'm thinking that maybe the next episode from what i've heard that it's going to be a prologue episode as well will be more of a Infor, you know, informational kind of episode, which will be good for me to be honest because I want to learn more about everything about the main characters. And from what it looks like, the princess I don't even know if she's like a main, main character from the opening. Which, honestly, another thing I love the music was awesome, the the whole you know, showing all the characters, the animation was also awesome as well. 
and seeing it seems like she's not the main character we saw our main characters the guys and I don't know if any of the other people as well they seem to be the main character so I'm guessing this is more of a this prologue's more of a a beginning story to what's the main threat in the world and then we're gonna see our main characters later if I'm wrong please you know feel free to comment below and tell me all you you know people who have played the game remember I have I'm an anime watcher only for this I've never played the games so anything without spoiling it obviously feel free to comment below that can help me is this just like is this how it is in the game all the everything how well was this adapted as well that's always something I always wonder when it comes from a manga or a light novel <clears throat> you know how well was it adapted into the anime now how well was the game adapted into the anime that's one thing that I've always you know I always want to know from you guys um, of course you know you anime watcher only you can also feel free to comment below I definitely want to hear your opinions as well on how you felt about this episode and how you feel about everything in the future because so far from what I've seen this is definitely probably one of the top animes of the season and I cannot wait to see more of it hopefully the story would be just as good as you know other people say because um, right now I don't really know what's going on but it was still awesome so hopefully we delve more into that story later on but yeah that's really all I gotta say guys um awesome animation awesome art style just everything looked playing out beautiful the action scenes was just crazy that's one of the things I always love and I always mention with you e foldable and this did not disappoint it was awesome just that was just only one scene too one action scene I hope you know hopefully we get more of those because seriously those are always super crazy and hopefully the story like I said before gets better as well or it doesn't it's not like we don't know how the story is right now it's just I don't know what the story is I don't know how it's gonna be so that's pretty much my problem but yeah that's all I really got to say guys so hope you guys enjoy this anime kingdom first impressions if you have any questions feel free to comment below there's anything I miss and you want to talk about comment below as well and like I said before all you game you know people who play the game or all you anime watchers only feel free to comment your opinions on how this was adapted how everything was going you know has gone so far in this episode what do you think and all that kind of stuff feel free to comment below and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe it always really does help have the channel grow we have been growing more and more and I can't wait to see more of you guys as we do more of these reviews so yeah until next time, guys. See ya.